Uh, we got a lot of respect for their program. Uh, coach Lutz, I've known him a long time, looked up to him as a coach. Um, so it, 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 it's a lot to come into a place like this, uh, the year they're having, and, and to find a way to, to, to get a win. And, and you know, we played really well, but we knew they were going to – we knew they were going to come back. Um, hopefully, I, I didn't want it to get to one possession, uh, but obviously did there at the end. Um, but credit our guys uh, for finding ways, making a plays uh, to win the game. Coach, you talked to you already mentioned you knew they were going to make the run. How much of that preparation do you pass on to the guys to remind them that they're going to fight back? Well, yeah, we just knew how much they were like how much we respect them uh, as a program. Um, obviously, it was it was chippy um, on the floor the whole game. Um, so, uh, our guys were just ready. They knew they knew what was going to happen. Um, I wish we had rebounded it better uh, there at the end. Uh, they got three or three or four. We did a, a to start the game. They they got offensive rebounds, and then we did a nice job for about 20 minutes in a row of limiting them to very few, if any. Um, but then they got some late. Uh, got away from our discipline, you know, in a, in a frenzy up and down. They're they're racing into the rim. We're trying not to foul. Um, and they missed those shots, and we're not able to get a couple of those. But we got enough, um, and that's all that matters. Coach, with all those heavily contested inbound plays down low to activate, how much that's got to have value going forward because you're not going to have any contested more heart than those were. Yeah, no, it's, it's really good. Great job executing. Uh, we got put in a weird spot over there uh, in the corner, and we they were able to get a steal when we were uh, up five. Uh, I believe was the score, or maybe it was four because it made it a two-point game. We right, right, down. four yeah. point, yep. Um, so that's a just awkward spot. We're not able to get that inbounded. Uh, but, you know, CJ, uh, the next the next two times down, we're able to get the ball inbounded and into CJ, uh, who we really want to get the ball to as, as well as he's been shooting free throws. Um, and he's able to carry us home where that last play doesn't even uh, – we don't have to foul or really uh, defend it. Can you hand C.J. Roberts a hot Coca-Cola and let him turn it into ice cold in just a minute? He is at ice water in his veins <coughs> tonight. Six out of six at the fix and feed line when it mattered most, Coach. Yeah, no, he was – got a lot of confidence in him um, going to the foul line. Uh, he's been there before, uh, veteran presence. Um, he had a really, really nice game. I thought he defended it as well. and. Uh, it's so big when you give the, somebody the ball late, and um, we don't expect him to be perfect necessarily. But we, you know, if he goes blind six times, he's going to make five of them, which gives you a chance and keeps you ahead of the uh, ahead of the possessions when it comes down to a late game like that. Coach uh, Travion Tennyson, twenty-two points. He averages almost sixteen a game, but that was a guy y'all had a big circle drawn on, and it feels like he five three pointers in there. But it feels like y'all defended him pretty well. We did. He got loose um, a couple times, but we made it hard on him. Uh, we really worked him. Uh, he's a good player. We, we didn't expect to keep him down. Um, you know, and when he gets shot, he's just shooting such a high clip. I mean, he tried to get a lot more than eight off. Uh, but, you know, we lost him on an offensive rebound one time. So uh, he's a good player. Uh, we, we tried to do our best on him. I, you know, I think we did a little bit better job on Murdix as far as just making him a volume scorer. Uh, he's a really good player as well. He obviously still had six assists and one turnover, even though we were throwing a lot of defenders at him. Kalen Williams was a match, though, with seven dimes dropped out there, five of six from the floor for him as well. Kalen, just his stock continues to rise, does it not? Yeah, we were just so efficient. To go on the road like that, they're a really good defensive team. Um, we were just so efficient. You know, you shoot, uh, that's an understatement, but to shoot 63%, and we had to be that efficient, obviously, because we didn't take care of the basketball and we gave up so many offensive rebounds and second chance opportunities. Um, you know, they had 17 offensive rebounds. It's, uh, you know, kind of amazing, but you, you shoot the ball that well. Um, you know, every game's a little bit different, but we were able to find a way. Coach J.J. Roma Rosario, his stock continues to rise, too. He's starting to buck for maybe an all-conference uh, spot, do you think? Yeah, you know. Good enough? It's it, What's really nice is we're cons- our consistency is a lot better than it, you know, and that's part of the, the ebbs and flows of going through the season. But um, right now we're playing pretty consistent. Our production's pretty uh, consistent across the board. Uh, obviously we'd like to have done that the whole time, but that's not how it works. Um, you know, even if you look at Dodd in, the start, in his 20 minutes, we were plus 17. Um, so and, and he doesn't show up necessarily with a ton of points or anything, but uh, he really settles us. He's he's able to defend on that end and, and, and get us into offense. All right, coach, tell us a little bit about if you would halftime conversation. You had that two point lead that you just kind of had grabbed not too long before the half. Uh, there was still a lot of basketball left. Yeah, no, we really just talked about rebounding. Um, 
because I thought we were defending pretty well. We had to, you know, our guys had a good feel for how they were trying to attack us. And um, again, all of our, you know, in the fr literally at the beginning of the game and at the end of the game when they came back, which obviously is when they made their runs was when they got offensive rebounds and extra possessions. So um, we cleaned that up in the first start of the second half, and that's where how we were able to build the lead. Um, trust me, there's no question I'd like to be better and be able to, to you know, sustain that lead and, and not make it so close at the end. Um, but you know, still, you know, guys can uh, on the road against the number one team in the league, uh, you know, they can make that a, a, a challenging thing. Um, but they just handled it, got to the next play, trusted in each other, and, and, and just kept going. All right, New Orleans knocks out Nichols. Nichols traveling to Lake Pontchartrain, falls 88-82. That means, coupled with the Lion win, you are now tied with the Colonels at 9-7 and seven for fourth place, and the two schools have split there, too. What's the next tiebreaker? Head-to-head -head above uh, the uh, teams ahead of them? Maybe. I don't know if it's the, the win over the high seed or the record against the higher seeds. I'm not sure. Um um, you know, we'll we'll figure that out. When yeah, we get yeah, there. yeah. Uh, we got, you know, a really good uh, car war team. Another another road game is just tough to win on the road, uh, as you're seeing in the league uh, night after night. Um, so, you know, we gotta we gotta enjoy tonight. Uh, enjoy the fact that we're able to you know knock off the number one seed. Uh, but then we gotta get you know we gotta we gotta turn the page quickly tomorrow. Um, and Connor Ward's playing for their life probably and trying to find a way to get in. So. Uh, it's going to be a tough task if if we if we carry over any that we won or that oh my god we already it's got to get to the next page the next game um, and understand how hard it is to win on the road. How long do they actually get to celebrate a win like this? So we get on the bus tomorrow. Oh, okay, um, so that's long you know, enough. We'll, yeah, yeah, they can they can enjoy it, you know, uh, and then we'll get back to the hotel. We'll watch this, uh, show some clips of this tomorrow. Um, as far as some things we did really well and some things we got to clean up and get right on to current work. Coach, you go all the way back to our first Southland Conference game ever on December 31st, and it took overtime. You get by the Cardinals 82-74 to at home. That's a long time ago. Yeah, it's really you know strange how the, the schedule played out, you know, kind of for everybody, not just us. Um, playing first and then almost last uh, and then obviously we play corpus here and then they, they're returning to our place um next week ahead of the conference tournament but um you know i i, I hope you know and, and i even think we played pretty good against southeastern um the one thing we got to do better is we got to take care of the basketball better um you know when we're low low turnover we're in we're in that 10 11 range i think we're hard to beat uh, when we give teams more possessions um it just it just it puts so much pressure on our defense and offense to be perfect, uh, so we got to do a better job of that, um, and then we got to rebound better. Uh, right. They had a lot to do with it, but uh, you know we got to do a better job there. All right, coach. Before this game, <clears throat> pardon me, the Islanders had lost only one at home. That was to Southeastern in overtime, and then when they got to go to Hammond, they get beat eighty-three to seventy-two. Will that be a cautionary tale for your guys? Remind yeah, it's I mean, tough. We, we, it, they're a really good team. They'll, they'll make adjustments. You know, we'll get to that game when we get to it. Uh, <laughs> it just, it's not, it's not easy. Uh, none of the games are easy. Um, just hope we can stay healthy and the guys can keep the right mindset. Um, that you know, this is all leading to like we talked about last week. You know, we had some, we had some rough uh, for everybody, right? Everyone's frustrated when you you play well against Southeastern and you lose like that, but. You're able to go two nickels, win a close game. You're able to come here and play really, really well. Um, and, and they made a run at the end, but we're able to still find a way. Um, so um, you want to be playing your best basketball now. And so I hope this points in the right direction that we're going to consistently, you know, play our best basketball of the year. All right, Coach, congratulations. It was a thriller. It was fine. You made this house so quiet for so much <laughs> of the game, though. It was uh, something else. We were fun. Appreciate everyone uh, following, listen, listening on the radio and following on TV and uh, – you know, we we got we got more work to do and uh, just keep the guys going. All right, folks, stick around just a second. If we need to take a break, keep it on your station, 88.9 KETR. This is the Lions Sports Network. We will come back and wrap this one up in a minute. 